Hi, hello my friends and welcome to my Counted Cross Stitch channel. My name is Amanda Mae McNaughton and I am the owner and designer behind the brand Ardith Design and you can find my work at ardithdesign.com. It's been a hot minute since my last update and by hot I mean humid summer here in Maryland and then hot minute as in I've taken way too long to film. So I'm so happy you came back and joining me today. We're in my backyard. It is so warm out. <laughs> so I'm gonna do my best here. I have a bunch of stuff to show you. I have my works in progress uh, whips. I have finishes. I have some stash uh, enhancement things. I've got butterflies kind of fl flying around. I'd love them to come over here. They've been dancing all week with like the two of them and they dance around. I had to put my pugs away because they have been barking at everything. So as a preventative measure, they're put away. I will try to insert video of them being adorable. And <laughs> I've got a couple little uh, videos to insert later. Uh, I bought like a box of stuff at Habitat for Humanity Restore. I want to show you what I bought and then I want to show you how I have kitted up or like prepped a project. Uh, so I got this, I purchased this on eBay. It's by you and I friends. So this is a discontinued retired pattern, but it's a little watermelon. And I've, I've kind of, I love watermelon cross stitch stuff. I found one at the thrift store, watermelon cross stitch. And Sue Hillis had a free chart, a freebie chart with watermelon slices that like where you eat and it like slowly goes down that I want to do. Anyway, I went on and searched watermelon cross stitch, found this and decided to get it all started for a new start. So I'll insert that video too. So I wanted to, I have so much to show you. I've got like a mountain around me here of cross stitch stuff. Last video, I said I was going to do a designer profile of one of the designers. I have a bunch of her work, Paula Vaughn. I'm going to push that to another episode just because I just could not bring it all out here. <laughs> and I think I have enough to talk about that you will all understand. So it is, it is August. So I'm filming today is August 2nd, uh, 2022. I am on the East Coast of the United States. It is officially fair and carnival season out here. So there are county fairs. The Maryland State Fair is at the end of the month. And there's like local carnivals all around. There's uh, fundraising for like the fire departments and they do carnivals like nighttime carnivals and it just summer. It's a, like it's summer here. <laughs> I have watermelons growing out here in my garden and water and oh, I've, I've, I got a bunch of stuff. So let's actually, let me show you actual cross stitch and not just talk about food. I went down a couple weeks ago to Virginia Beach and stopped at Dying to Stitch. Uh, the local needle workshop in Virginia Beach. And then I stopped, uh, it was pouring rain, like pouring. We stopped and we went to the sweet shop, which is like amazing candy ice cream shop. I, I'll insert some pictures of that. Oh I went to Virginia Beach. I stopped at their restore and I got, um, I got this little sampler. It was not priced, but they were super nice and uh, priced it for me and I bought it. They, and yeah. So I got this sampler at Restore. I don't know the maker. I don't know the chart or the pattern. I think I'm gonna take it out of the frame and maybe make it on like a, put it on a project bag or something. So this is how it came. And it looks like um, an even weave and they stitched it over one instead of over two, the even weave. I don't know what, what count that is. It looks like a high count. It's super cute. So I got that in Virginia Beach at the Habitat for Humanity Restore. All right, I got I've been, I've been doing a lot of stitching. <laughs> I have been working on the Prairie Schooler 
This is Hocus Pocus by Prairie Schooler. I am stitching this. I took the palm out and ended up adding, I don't want to show that. I put gaze there instead. So I switched some stuff around. I am stitching this with a hodgepodge of threads. I had done some of the white in my sulky white. It's a 12 weight cotton. And then that spool got put to a different project. And so I just grabbed this spool of Wonderful thread and it is also a 12 weight cotton, but instead of being a two ply thread, it's a three ply thread. And so it doesn't really like come up, come uh, like unravel. So I'm using that for the white. So I'm just doing one strand on 32 count with the white. And then I've got just a collection. I'm doing the uh, Valdani, the dark, almost dark brown Valdani thread, two strands. Oh, I, I printed out these little things. I'll show you when I kit up a project. I got this new like little printer thing. I'll show you that. So, I, but I'm doing a uh, color and cotton, uh, DMC, and then the wonderful thread. I know Amanda May, show the project already. Oh, and nothing like dropping white thread out in the yard. <sighs> Just rub some dirt on it. All right, here we go. Well, I stitch in hand, so everything's a little wrinkle crinkled. I had every intention of ironing for all of you, and then I didn't. So, <laughs> here we go. So I started this at the end of March, uh, shortly after. Um, so I started, this was the first project I started um, when my, my mom had passed away, and I, so this was the first thing I started. Uh, I don't know if it was subconscious because I started with the witch, but anyway. <laughs> um, so here we go. I I was going to put the moon here and do it white. Uh, but I ended up, um, I, I don't like it in the white. I'm going to take it out and put it in the black there. And then the gaze, that was one strand of sulky. And then this is the one strand of wonderful thread. And I love the variegation of the green. And yeah, so I'm coming down and I'm almost around. So I've got one, two to finish and then the border and then I'll be all done with this. So I'm, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it looks nice. I didn't mean to be negative there about that witch comment. I just, you know, sometimes I wonder why I choose the projects that I choose at the times I choose them. So more of a reflective thing. I don't have an answer. But I guess I could sit, just say Halloween 365, right? Halloween 365. All right, the next project I worked on is, uh, it's a Blackbird Designs. I ordered the pattern and the, the Gentle Art Flosses on 123 Stitch so that I could work on this project. I wanted, this is one of the ones I wanted. So there's the collection of 12 different designs. And so I've just been kind of purchasing and going, you know, as I go, I had started this project. Here are my, here are my colors. So, um, so I bought some new in the gentle art with their new logo, their new design. So the, I bought like the wood rose, but then I have some color and cotton in here. So I've just kind of, I have been adding and kind of finagling around here. So here we go. This was the first one I stitched and this was, um, the fairy garden. And then the second one here is not from this collection, but it's from, oh, so my wind chime is going right now. One of you, and I wanna thank you so much for your um, comment and suggestion. One of you had said to uh, get a wind chime to remember my mom. And so I got a wind chime. So that's what you're hearing right now. That's the sound. All right, so the hollyhock, it comes out uh, it, it's in from the sewing club book, the hollyhock pattern, this one here. So I did my own thread conversion and I used all color and cotton 
and did the hollyhock, but I didn't put, I didn't do the hollyhock, I didn't do the writing. All right, the first one I did was the fairy garden. And then the tulip and lily is the one I just finished. And then the next one I think I'm gonna do is this one. Again, still not my favorite, but I own it. I'm not, I don't have to order it. So I think that's like the one I'm gonna end up just doing. So here we go. I added this border here because this, of the stitch count and then added and brought this down. I stitched this in all the called for colors. This is all gentle art here, the called for colors. This was the color cotton conversion. And this was, uh, I did all of that in the called for gentle art. So this is the odd man out up here in the corner. And I really like how it turned out. So I'm doing two threads over two linen strands. And that's where I'm at. Yay! So I'm excited to keep working on that project. I don't, I'm just kind of, it's just, just add in and go in and go in and we'll see what happens. So that and that. The next project that I worked, it's a start, uh, it was a start and a finish since the last time I came on. All right, so real fast. I'm originally from California. I didn't know what a heat index was until I moved to the East Coast. And so I've been, I've been in Maryland for a long time, but I'm still, I'm still not used to this humidity. So excuse me. All right. So a start and a finish. I got this box set, the zombie cross stitch, and it came with, um, said it came with materials to make two gruesome projects, but it wasn't particularly explicit about like what it came with. Well, the box, it came with a hoop. I stitch in hand, so I didn't use the hoop, but I might finish my project in the hoop. I'll show you in a minute. It came with some generic floss that I started putting them on flo like floss rings. Well, here's the story with the floss ring situation. So Another reason why I haven't filmed a floss tube in a couple months was I had a roof issue in my studio. So last year I had my roof replaced. Well, they replaced my roof, but didn't actually, they were supposed, okay. There was a boo-boo. My roof didn't get fixed properly. So they had to come, I had, I went to have a drywall patch done only to realize that the whole bot, the whole, my whole ceiling had to be ripped out and everything had to be removed. They left like cross beam posts rotted that they were supposed to replace. All of that was left. So they had to tear it up, replace everything. And then my roof had to be replaced again. I know huge, big mess. Well, this one little drywall patch turned out to be like a whole ceiling. So I got a bunch of paint samples because I want my studio to be white. So I got a bunch of different white samples. I'm like, oh my gosh, am I officially an adult? I just got like 25 white paint samples. Who needs 25 different white colors? Well, apparently I do to pick the white, the correct white to film, to paint my studio so I can film in there again. <sighs> Anyhow, I bought my white, but I had all these paint chip, paint samples left. So I started putting some of them, like making like floss rings with them instead of just throwing them away. So I started carting up the colors that came in the kit, but not all the projects in the book, the zombie book, the colors are provided, but that's okay. So it came with 14 count eight of cloth, which I, that's what I stitched on. And it came with some flosses, uh, needle and that in the book and this. So, um, I know, just show us the project already, Amanda. Okay, I'm go I'm getting there. <laughs> so this is the little book. I know, oh my gosh. Here's the little book, Zombie Cross Stitch. Look at that cute little book. It's so cute. And 
I ended up having to get all the colors because, uh, so I did all the called for DMC colors that in the, from the book. And then I stitched it on the white 14 count Ada that came in the box set. So I stitched up Miss Zombie USA. What I love about her is that she reminds me of like the the old school tattoos, but also Halloween and zombies. And I thought it was just like, what is that called? Horror cute? Horror, not H-O-R-R-O-R, -R -R, not W-H-O-R-E. <laughs> anyway, I, I just thought it was super cute. So that was, this is what I did. I, I stitched it with a two, I stitched it two, strands over one Ada box and this is DMC not the generic and then so that is let me show I want to show you the actual the final what she looks like this is the model and this is what I did And so there's different projects. The Christy Kazi and Erica Kern are the things. My only gripe, and it's not them, um, it was just like the charting is a little off. Here, here's Work Bites. That's one of them. And it's they, the charting reminds me of um, needlework charting, uh, needlepoint charting, not. Um, count and cross stitch so I'm just going to show you an example so see the chart the the graph is pretty small and then there's no symbols it's just the colored blocks so I was having a hard time with just colored blocks I like color and symbols not just symbols but what I did was I, I put it on my printer and then instead of printing it at 100% I expanded it to like print to 120% so it, it it printed out larger than this book and then I was able to see the chart better so the work bites is called I Hate Mondays. And then there's Till Death Do Us Part. I Will Always Love You is what that's called. Got Brains. And here, this guy, and they put it on like a, a, a coffee koozie. Uh, I Love Stiff Drinks. I like that one. That one might be fun to do. Zombie Baby. Uh, this one, The Colorful Corpse, they finished it on a, a bag. That's super cute. Oh, that's called Drop Dead Gorgeous. Zombies Unwelcome. Rest in peace, the hand. I'm right, like Michael Jackson's thriller. Zombie. It's close to midnight is what it's called. Zom zombies only want you for your brains. Yeah, so that's, that's the book. Yeah, and that's the tools that it comes with in there. So super cute. So I bought, like I said, I it's a start and a finish and I think I'll finish it in that hoop. Okay. Did, are those all my, those are all my, I guess so. I have more stuff to show you. Uh, I am in the new issue out of the Halloween just cross stitch 2022. An amazing model stitcher. Her name is Deborah. Hi, Deborah. I need your help some more, but I have been totally, I haven't so many designs, so little time. Okay. So this is the issue. Just cross stitch Halloween. I did not make the cover. That's okay. Can't always 
expect that. So they have all the projects. I know probably a bunch of different pe designer people have done flip throughs already of that. Where am I? I'm somewhere in here. The design inspiration. Well, it's in the, it's in this magazine. I'll just show you the real thing. I was The idea of like, what would you do? Like a picnic, going out on a picnic. And like, what would, what would skeletons eat? You know, a picnic. And so, okay, here we go. Let me show you. I did a flat fold finish. So I finished this, but uh, Deborah stitched it. So here's the back. And it is stitched with, the pretty colors so that's like the blanket like the picnic blanket but they look like gravestones and then they're eating and drinking and then there's right there they're eating like little worms so they're sitting and eating and then RSVP so like make a reservation for your food or for death so this is on a printed like 32 count linen and it's got the the star printing and stuff on it it says Zweigart linen. So, so there's, that's my contribution for the Halloween issue this year. Yeah. Okay, I got, it's always good to research, research, research. So I bought a new book and I bought, I bought a lot of books. I have a lot of books to show you, but I only brought one outside with me. So I got, the guide to the American sampler and I this is the author and I bought this from the author's uh, daughter she's on Instagram and you can find anyway she had a book sale sometimes she has samplers and stuff up for sale so I bought this book from her so I started reading that learn all the things and the sun is starting to come upon me. I think I'm gonna, sorry for the noise. Move over a little bit. All right, the next thing is we, so I just said fair season, right? So last year I did not participate in the fair, but I went to the fair and I posted a video here on YouTube showing the fair stuff. So this year I decided to submit and participate. So I entered the fair, the deadline for entries was July 31st. So I sent in uh I I I sent in my entry form and then you had to pay so it was online and then you have to pay the $2 to to submit your entry. So I printed out the all the different categories and the rules and I went through and I pulled all of my work that I've done this last year so it has to be completed your completed finished work as of August of 2021 so August of last year it has to have been finished within that within this last year so another reason to keep track of when you finish work so that you can go back so I went through all of my work I pulled it all out, not my models, just the stuff I stitch for fun. So I'm gonna show you what I pulled out and what I'm gonna enter into the fair. Now, I wanna say that they're not, I haven't fully finished any of this yet. So I have, I've entered these pieces, I'm gonna enter these pieces, but I have to fully finish them still. And I know they're not done yet. Okay, so the first one I finished October 18th of 2021. It's on a piece of scrap fabric and I stitched it with DMC. And it is the little goat, the Christmas goat ornament by Barbara Westhaven. 
This is, so I'm gonna finish this. This is the information here. And then this, this chart is in the Gift of Stitching Magazine, issue 47, December 2009. And then it's on page 39 if you want to do if you want to find that and stitch so I that's one of my entries I'm entering it under the K category so I went through and one of the special categories this year is the contest for K and a, a, a goat a, is called a kid like a when it's a baby. So kid, goat, K, for K. So any item or object that begins with the letter K. So I entered that. I, I think it's it's called Christmas goat, but it's a Christmas kid. So I, I'm going to enter it for K for kid. Usually the special contest ones like that are heavily competitive. So I don't expect to place. Okay. I don't expect to get first through sixth I don't expect to place it all but I wanted to put it in and show it I don't expect any ribbons at all from doing this okay uh so little yellow house crafts she posted she was she's on YouTube she's one of the first people I watched on floss tube back when I was pregnant with my son he's now five so way back when and she posted all about submitting her entries into the fair and I had never heard of anything like that I had never done anything like that so this for me I have no preconceived notion that I'm going to place at all I just want to share the joy of needlework represent needlework uh, that people go the, and, and and walk through and see work so that's I just want to get work out there and show that people still cross stitch so that that's that's why I'm doing what I'm doing this Okay, so the next category, I, I'm going to, oh, so embroidery, I'm going to enter uh, a punch needle embroidery. I didn't bring that out to show you. It can be any item. So I'm going to do a punch needle embroidery category. And then under counted thread cross stitch, they have different, so they have sampler up to eight by 10 inches and then a sampler between eight by 10 and 15 by 18. So there's two different sizes. So I decided that I'm going to enter my bright needle. I stitched it on 28 count water lily fabric. I finished this sampler on February 13th, 2022. I stitched it with the anchor floss and then the one silk gatherer um, thread that it called for. So February 13th. So day before Valentine's day, I finished this and I'm going to, I'm going to get this and put it, I'm going to get it in a frame. It's, um, it's like nine by 11. So it's over that eight by 10. And then they specify that it's the stitched area, not the framed area is how you measure the sizing. Now I made some mistakes on this. That's okay. I'm still going to enter it and it's on 28 count and it's got sunflowers and it'll it'll force me to fully finish this so I can also enjoy it after the fair. My next piece is I'm gonna enter my totem by Sitka Stitches and I'm putting it in the other than, uh, other than listed category up to eight by 10. So there was, there was no place that this fit like the category so I'm gonna finish this as a stand-up and submit it. I measured and it's exactly eight inches across here. So I'm hope they said again, the stitched area, not the fully finished area. So, so I'm gonna finish that and enter that. The next one you have not seen. This is, uh, this was a start and a finish for me since the last time we spoke. I bought this chart at nine to stitch down in Virginia Beach. I'm gonna do a quick little segue right here and show some pictures from Dying to Stitch in Virginia Beach. I played the let's find Amanda May's charts and stuff in the store, yay! And I also took pictures of a bunch of the different models and stuff on the walls and all over 
Anne and Pat have a lot of models, a lot of stuff to showcase here. Ah, we're at Dying to Stitch. And I wanna show you there's like stuff in the window. We're gonna walk over. Yay! Oh my gosh, look at this! Look at that cutie! Okay, I'm gonna film a little better here. Let me see. Oh, it's so cute! husband loves everything Halloween so he goes to the Halloween wall and he immediately looks over at the Halloween of Hawk Run Hollow and he's like I want that one I'm like yeah everyone wants that one but it takes so long to stitch but it's so gorgeous I know I love it all this is a birds of a feather and it's bloom where you are planted yes 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 i stitched it i did my own thread conversion and again i'm going to show you this printer in a little bit so I, I printed it out and i put it on one of these little label thingies and then i printed the, the key and then i hand wrote my conversion and i'm using all of the color and cotton do I have a gentle art? Yeah, okay, that's from another project. I think that was from the Strawberry Fields Forever's The Sable. So these are the colors and the, I love that kumquat color. And then I stitched it on a piece of fabric. I bought the piece at Dying to Stitch. So I started it July 13th and I finished it July 21st. As you can tell, I could not put it down. And I, the piece of fabric, it's an R&R &R fabric. I'm not, I don't remember what the color is. I want to say it's espresso. So it's super fun. So cute. I love it. I really like Birds of a Feather. I really like her work. So I haven't stitched any of her Santas, but I've done some of the Halloween stuff. So cute. All right. Then for... fruits and vegetables up to 20 by 30 inches. I'm going to submit, this is by Stitchy Princess Black. She's the Ukrainian cross stitcher. She's been getting um, a lot of attention, rightfully so, for her design work. So I'm going to submit that for fruits and vegetables because who doesn't love a good carrot? And that was stitched, oh, I love it, I love it, okay. Then for sampler up to eight by 10 inches, I am entering my Strawberry Fields Forever. So I finished this July 1st, I finished. This one was, it just kept going. I just kept stitching, but she's done and I love her. So I stitched her with all the called for colors, but towards the end, that moss by Gentle Art, I couldn't, I couldn't take it any longer. And I ended up substituting another green by color and cotton. Cause I just was like, I can't do this. I can't. So as you can see, I wrote my conversion and then wrote another conversion. <laughs> so I did uh, boxwood by color and cotton. I was like, <laughs> so I love this piece. I made a couple mistakes and I don't care. I think it looks great. And she's done. My next piece I'm going to submit is, I showed you birds of a feather. Oh, the birds of a feather I'm the this the little tiny one I'm submitting that the bloom where you're planted that is going to go under um flowers up to eight by ten inches so I'm I'm putting that under the flower category and then the carrots under fruits and vegetables totem is on other than listed the goat holiday ornament 
And then I am going to submit my dolphin boat for the original design other than the framed piece. And that is in um, original design. So I'm allowed to submit that. It's my own work. Um, it's in the August issue this year of Cross Stitch, just Cross Stitch Magazine. So I'll show you that at a later date. So here are the are the pretties that did not make the cut for the fair. I think th that's a good representation of my work there for the fair. These are the work that I finished in the last year that I am not submitting to the fair. So this one is by the Blue Flower. This is in the cookbook for the 2022 uh, Happiness is Homemade from the Nashville Needlework Market. This was one of the charts in that little cookbook. And so I stitched that up. The other one now uh, finished 511 22, 511, January, February, March, April, May. So May 11th is uh, Lazy Witch. And this was in last year's issue of Just Cross Stitch Magazine. It is now probably out by Ryan Mack of Wild Violet Cross Stitch. It's probably available on her website now. Go get it. Go on and get it. So cute. So I did that. This was Birds of a Feather Beware of Cat. I stitched it on a piece of Weeks Dye Works Coca Linen Beware of Cat. And I finished her. When did I finish her? January 29th of this year. My next finish was this little adaptation I did from the designs by Gloria and Pat. So after uh, Pat had passed away, I stitched that and it's from this part of the sampler and I did it on Caribbean blue and I just grabbed different flosses and did that. The next finish I had was another Stitchy Princess Black. I bought her chart. I It was a birthday start for me. So I started it on my birthday and then I finished it on March 17th. So I started it in February and finished it in March. And this is on a piece of um, blue Ada fabric. Uh, I think it's 16 count, 14 count. It's a piece of fabric I dyed. I did like a, a live, a Facebook live and, and dyed fabric live. And that's one of the pieces. So that's the rabbits at the cafe pattern. Oh, and then you haven't seen this one. I just finished, I just stitched and finished this. So this is, let me get, let me get my, let me get my information all set up here. This is the Needle Love Company. And I stitched this piece. It's from the Sunflower Harvest book. I started it July 5th and I finished it July 11th. I used all color and cotton, rustic black, fairway green, uh, coffee bean brown, and red garnet. And it was on a scrap piece of even weave fabric. I stitched you can see my variegated stitching my black stitches and how they go down. I don't know how to finish this but I'm it was super fun to stitch. Super easy. Sometimes I just like stitching blocks of color. I don't want to do color changes. I just want to stitch for the sake of stitching. The next finish I have is I finished this June 18th and this was my Blackbird Designs. This was the first chart they ever released. It was a freebie chart that came out. I found that chart and it, it still stands. The only ever Blackbird Designs I've ever found at a thrift store. I found it with the r, r linen, the chart, and the red floss that was in the pack. I found this 
like a week after, you know, the one half of the, of the Blackbird design team had passed. And so I felt like that was a sign, like I had to start it. So this has been my car project and I finished my car project. So here she is. I decided to do Amanda May 2022. I really never date my stuff, but I did this time. There we go. Uh, I did not bring out the never underestimate the difference that you make. That was from Cross Stitches for the Earth. It was the Emma Congdon piece that I did. And I finished that in October. This was a start and finish, the love, the Mary Inglebright love. And then I did not date when I finished this, these. I wanna say I did that before August, but I don't remember. This one, I have my, I just, I didn't write my finishes, my finish notes. And then I did mall, I, I framed the Molly by Barbara Anna, but I don't know when I finished her. So I'm not counting her as my year. Because I think I finished her before August, but fully finished her after August. Does that make sense? So those are my stitching things. Ah, so I'm gonna insert a video again of me starting, kidding up, getting that project started from the you and I and friends to work on to start that watermelon bird. And then the goodie box that I got. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna say take care and I love you and you matter and your stitching matters. And yeah, stay tuned if you wanna watch some more or I've been talking at you for 40 minutes. If you wanna skedaddle, I totally understand. Much love, happy stitching, and I'll be back soon because I have new releases to show you. New releases. Okay. Mwah. All right. So what we're going to do is I have this little printer thingy here. We're going to select equipment. We're going to connect. Come on, connect. There we go. It's connected. Yay. Okay. We're going to go back. We're gonna click, uh, take a picture. So you can take, so can you, can you get it real close there? Is it, remember you gotta center it, honey. Center it. Okay. Okay, and now what are you hitting? No, you gotta do it on camera so I can see. Okay, okay, okay. You got it already there. Okay, now hit the done button. Okay, and now print it. Awesome. Okay, so we're doing that for this. And then, and then I made a working copy of the chart. Okay. And then I made a working copy of the chart and I'm gonna take up, we're gonna take a picture of the, um, the color code here. So go back here, I'm gonna go back here. Can you hit the back button, sweetie? Okay, now take the, hit the photo, yep. And then you're gonna come right here, sit like right, line it right up here, line it right up, there you go. Now hit the button. I'm gonna pull that down there and then we're gonna orient it. We're gonna turn it this way. Hold on, and then I'm gonna move that there. There we go. Now, yeah, now hit the, nice. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll cut this out. And then, so now I have the working, I have the picture. So this was the original picture there and I have the original the chart here the anchor floss and that and I got that on eBay and I have this big pack that I got at a yard sale or something a long time ago with the clip name badges right and then so what we're gonna do is we're to cut this these and put them on here and then I can add my floss ring and everything and get the project all ready yay
All right, and here we have it. I'm all kit up, kitted up and ready to go. My working copy, Watermelon Bird. I went ahead and zigzag stitched all of my edges. I have, I picked out a needle minder and unfortunately I don't have a, a watermelon needle minder. So I made this one out of an old pin. So I have that and the needle it came with. These threads, I don't know if this is enough for this chart. I think it's if, it, if I were stitching with one strand and not two strands. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna stick with this or if I'm gonna switch uh, to a con and convert so I can have more threads for something else. So there I am my project and I'm ready to start it. Happy stitching. Here are some of the goodies that I got. So one of the stores that I go to, they set aside like their linens for me. I buy, I buy them, but if they're like damaged or something. Um, so I bought this, uh, but if they're damaged, they set them aside cause I have been doing some projects and stuff. If um, this one is fine, I paid for this one, but I, I like to save all the old stuff. I bought this, meaning they, it was out on the floor. They didn't save it for me. I, I bought it from the, so this, but they set this aside for me. If you can see, it's got some stains, so they, they can't sell it. Um, people usually don't buy anything that has stains. So they set stuff aside and then I make a donation. So these are it feels like polyester. I might be able to dye this with like some synthetic dyes and figure something out with those. So it looks like there's one, two, three of those. Oh, then there's these napkins here and they've got, again, but maybe this, this might work with a dye. Like I could, see it's got that browning. I could do like a coffee tea dye or a brown to try to do something. It's got the, this looks like it's machine embroidered with that special stitches. Still nice, like a cotton. And then again, some more stained items with the lace. Uh, but I can figure something out with those. And then this box, I got this, this stuff at Restore and the box literally fell apart. Uh, I bought these separate. Um, they, these were in the frame section. So I got this. This was 50 cents and it's a BMB initial dated 1990. It's stitched on a cream white Ada cloth. It's got the sampler letters with some back stitching like for to complete the, and it says welcome. And then it's framed with the paper on the back. So I picked that up and then I picked up this one. This is dated uh, 99 BA, the initials. This has staining on it. It's got a cute little frame. Someone, it looks like they hand painted the frame and got it set all up. I'm gonna take this out of the frame and wash this Ada because it's got, it's all stained and stuff. And then this would be super cute to attach like to a project bag or do just something else with and take it out of the frame. So I'm gonna do that. I paid 50 cents for this. And then I got this box for uh, $2 and the box was falling apart when I bought it. So it came, I got some, the I Believe, who, who doesn't want a, a cute Christmas sweater for cross stitch? I think they do this with waste canvas where you put the waste can yep, you put the waste canvas down, stitch, and then remove that waste canvas. Um, are we having fun yet? Then there's these frames, very 1980s frames. These are plastic, but you know, there's a lot of really cool colors of spray paint now for specifically for plastic these could be spray painted and then you could finish something with those so it looks like there's one two three four of those oh five of those the knees the set the vogart arts and i know several people like the subversive cross stitch stuff or the cheeky cross stitch they're taking and doing this and then like adding sassy sayings or something like stitching the traditional 
stuff and then adding something sassy or you know you could just take this the goodies these out of the kits not use the pattern at all use your ada cloth and then use those frames so and here's another one welcome one and all another vogue art floss it's got the frames what is that oh, okay these are i could do a little finish like a circular finish and finish it in that if i turned it this way i wonder if i could make it like a pumpkin or if this is a heart but what if you did something and like you put a beat like you painted this purple and then added some green green ribbon or something made it a beat like turn up the beat uh, i know kathy Haberman did a funny turn up the beat chart oh this that one again a small finish this could be painted and do something baby oh does it have the original receipt oh that's cool original receipt the large heart and the horse uh, and that was at the framework in Westminster Maryland I don't know when that was purchased probably in the late 80s and then there's some oh here's that waste canvas I said so uh, waste canvas it looks this is some of the older stuff that you would do to make this the sweaters I showed you um, one of these you would use the waste canvas for oh my gosh what is this is this jazzercise what can we make here trouble spots is there oh okay this is not cross stitch it's just workout okay so we've got some red pink this oatmeal ada country linen by regency and then that's the yellow i've really enjoyed the yellow i've had a, i've had good luck um taking this and then dyeing it dyeing over that yellow and making it super fun and this is the 18 count i like stitching with 18 count and then what do we have Okay, so I, I have a lot of these uh, old cross stitch and country craft magazines. So, you guys have seen all of these before. I know you guys, gals, ladies, gentlemen. Sweet memories and cross stitch. There's like a bunch of different. This is the Vanessa Ann collection. Oh, there's a little bunny. See if I can show you without showing you any of the patterns. Like, not really. They're all on the front. And there's like eggs and stuff. What are you doing, pugs? Oh, here's another thing. Very, well, it's probably 19, 1987. Leisure Arts. I love you. Love me. Love my cat. There's that goose wearing that hat. You're very special. All right. I, I think these are really cool with the the doll the dolls with the faces. Here's some more of those frames. I actually, this is a copy of the Christmas in miniature. I actually have this chart, the original chart in my collection. More waste canvas, more 14 count Ada. Buddy, can you stop licking? Here's that back. I think that goes to that big heart. And then there's some Christmas. What else do we got here? Oh, yeah, here. This Silent Night. I've shown you all in a, a, a video a long time ago. This Christmas Counts here. Uh, designs by Gloria and Pat. And then I love that piece. That one there is very mid-century modern. This Silent Night, I found this half completed in a in the book a couple years ago. Here is, that looks like Norman Rockwell. Oh, that's different. What is that? Cheesecakes. I have never heard of that. The Steele family cheerfully invite you to experience the beauty and share the joy as Loda and Seymour frolic through the winter wonderland. Oh my goodness. Who is that? Vanessa Steele and Sam Hawkins. Okay. And it is, um, wow. 
Okay. Oh, and then it came with little cards. That's kind of cool. Had little note card things um, that came with the... So it looks like it's based on his original drawings. And then the cross stitch. That's cool. Here's that Norman Rockwell. What's this? Peek inside. Gloria. Gloria. Oh. Home is where you hang your heart and have a naked bottom, right? So she hanging her heart. I think that's supposed to be a hammer. Okay. Well, that's really cool. So this one also came with one of those cards. That's neat. Oh, so you could you could put you could put a cross stitch or something in there. I like the idea of doing a pattern and doing a card. I know a lot of us uh, designers right now are doing patterns and floss tags, but I wonder if we need to bring back the the cards. And then here's a chart and like graph paper stuff. I was uh, the first person um, to publish um, the cross stitch graph paper on Amazon, and now you can find it. Um, hundreds of other sellers have replicated what I did. Anyway, uh, oh, are these uh, the transfer? Cute. What else is here? Oh, I got a old Cotton Murphy's floss Lily Craft. And the backs of those. All right, I think we went through this whole box. Very cool. Oh, a little berry, a little bear. Is that, I wonder if it's been worked on. Let's see if it's been worked on. So there's that. Let's fold, oh, I'll show you the chart. Someone got a couple stitches in. Very cool. Super cute. That's cute. Okay. 